know in this tutorial i'll show you how to request a refund on aliexpress there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to request a refund on aliexpress web app the first thing i'd like you to do is to log in to aliexpress how do you do that open any browser of your choice and go to the aliexpress website at aliexpress.com now log into your account using your account's credentials once logged in hover over your profile icon in the top right corner of the page and you're going to see a drop down menu with a couple of options including my others my coins message center payments wishlist my coupons aliexpress business ds center similar logging and all the way down to accessibility now click on my others from here, the next step is to find the order you want a refund for. On the My Orders page, look at the order for which you want to request a refund. You can scroll through the list or use the search bar in the top corner to find the specific order. Once you find the order, look for the Open Dispute button next to the order. Click on this to initiate the refund process. In the dispute form, choose the reason you are requesting a refund. Common reasons include did not receive the goods, received wrong items, item not as described, or damaged item. After selecting the reason, you will be prompted to specify the refund type. You can either request a full refund, that's if you did receive the item, or if you did not receive the item or want to return it, or request a partial refund, that's if the item was damaged or not as described, but want to keep it. You'll be asked to provide further details to support your refund request. Include a detailed explanation and, if necessary, upload photos or screenshots as evidence. Once you've filled out all the required information, go ahead and click Submit to officially request the refund. The seller will be notified of the dispute and will have a certain amount of time to respond. They may either agree to your refund request, propose a solution, or reject it. Now, you can monitor the status of your refund and and can monitor the status of your refund request all right by going to the dispute and request section by hovering over your profile name and scrolling down to the list to click on disputes and reports now if the seller you do not if the seller and you right do not reach an agreement i'll express for stepping to mediate and finalize the decision now you can go over to the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and of course, once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.